This song was actually really painful for me to write. It was my first experience at putting words to someone else's pain or what I imagined or thought that they were thinking or feeling. I had been an outside observer to a relationship filled with a lot of tension. And this was my attempt to process what was going on there. And I tried to stay out of it and just pray, which was what I thought was the best thing to do. I was driving to meet my daughter's class on a field trip. And I was, as I was thinking and praying, this song literally just dropped into my head. And so I couldn't wait to pull into the parking lot so I could sing the song into my phone because I was really nervous that I was gonna lose it after being with these kids for a few hours. And then that night through tears, I attempted to play it for Ben. And then I ended up just laughing because there's nothing more awful than the sound of trying to sing well while you're crying. Um, I always pray that God will use my songs beyond the original intent for which they were written. And so it really meant a lot to me when um, after a few weeks after we had gone into the studio to record this song, a friend of mine heard it and said that it brought healing between tension that was present between her and her mom that had been there for years. And then another friend took it to a marriage retreat. So that was a huge gift to already see the restoration there that came from me processing this pain, but then to hear that God had used it to help heal some other pain. Psalm 34, 14 says to seek peace and pursue it. Sometimes I think the hardest part of seeking and pursuing reconciliation is doing your part to ask for forgiveness and then stepping back and waiting. Because I think sometimes the waiting is the hardest part. Peace flows like a river and forgiveness is the shore and how I like to end.